Hey, how you doing? Uh, I am Pete Leffler from the band Chevelle, and uh, I'm on tour right now. I got to stop in Baltimore, and I'm um, hanging with the PRS guys today. Um, I first discovered PRS guitars um, through a friend of mine, and uh, I saw, I saw, lo and behold, I was in a music store and I saw this red one. I had to have it. It was it was used, and I I didn't have a whole lot of uh, cash flow way back then, but I saw it. It was beautiful. And I figured out a way to do a payment plan, and I got it. And uh, um, lo and behold, I, that's the guitar I still have today hanging in my, it's sort of my area of the house where uh, it was stolen once. I got it back. Um, that's another story for another time. But um, uh, that was when I, so I was probably 19 years old when um, I got that guitar. After I got my first Paul Reed Smith guitar, um, I really just sort of uh, never felt normal on stage without playing it. Um, I, I've had other guitars in the past, but um, it seems like the one staple, stable thing that I um, that I use on every tour. I mean, Paul Reed Smith has been great to me. They've been supporting me over the years, and uh, the thing about their guitars for me is that it, it just feels right. It feels comfortable. They're solid. I play in a lot of drop tunings, drop C, drop B, um, and the custom 24s um, have gotten me through countless tours, countless shows. Um, I was telling the guys here behind the camera um, earlier that I can't really imagine playing a show without a Paul Reed Smith in my hands. Um, so I think that's a pretty big thing. I'm, I'm really connected to this company. And um, and glad that um, they take care of me so well. The custom 24s really lend themselves to drop tunings. They're just a thick, solid neck, um, neck through, body design, and uh, they really work for drop tunings. So f they work for me. Um, I think uh, in that sense, um, the uh, artistic, creative side that Paul Reed Smith guitars help me out with is that they are so solid and that they can hold those tunings, which is tough. I use uh, custom 24s on stage, but I also use baritone uh, guitars from PRS. Um, they made me a couple custom, but I also use a, a couple uh, SE model Mike Mashuk um, guitars. Um, they may be like a cheaper um, version, but they certainly hold up in the touring uh, scene. So check those out. Right now we're out on our first tour of the year and uh, uh, we're coming off of some uh, radio success for the first single, um, Face to the Floor. It, um, it was uh, sticking around at number one on the rock charts for over three months. We're pretty excited about that. Um, and it all started from a riff. <laughs> That song was written in about three days. It just seemed to want to be together. It seemed to want to exist. Um, so we're out on the road right now. We're about two weeks in and uh, another two weeks to go. And uh, it's what we do. You know, we, you know, we've been touring for 12 years now and uh, PRS has been with us the entire way. So right now we're out on the road, um, and uh, this is the first tour of the year for us. Um, we had some success with the first single, and uh, we're moving on to the second single right now. Hopefully, it's got sh big shoes to fill, from face to the floor being number one for three months. But uh, um, every show is selling selling out, um, so we're excited about that. But um, we got two more weeks, and then we take a little more time off, and then we hit the road again for all the big. Uh, summer festivals and uh, we've been playing a lot of new material, new songs. Um, it's kind of interesting because for me I, it's a little nerve-wracking to play a new song out. You know, it's untested waters. You're not sure if people are gonna know it. But um, it's it's fun too in a way, you know, uh, the, the first reaction. So we've seen a lot of that lately. A lot of uh, a lot of people knowing the single and then not a lot of people knowing the uh, new material, but 
um, they will begin to know it shortly. And, uh, and of course, you have all the, the old staple songs you flo uh, throw in there, um, all the uh, all the old albums. The great thing about Paul Reed Smith guitars to me is that um, as aggressively as I play live, um, I, I jump around a lot. Um, they have to be well made. They have to be sturdy guitars. And um, I, I'm really fortunate to have uh, come across such a great guitar over the years. I tour all all the time, incessantly, and um, it's never let me down. It's uh, it it just made that well, and. Uh, and it stands the test of time, at least stands the test of touring for me. I couldn't do what I do on stage every night um, without a solid guitar behind me, so um, I'm going to continue playing them for years as long as they'll have me.